www.newtoboss.com. Again, this is Ty. This is still a part of the ZTE ZXV 10W300 series modem router tutorials. And this time, what I'd like to show you is a way you can get to set up your Wi Fi or set up a wireless network using your uh, device, ZTE modem router device. Again, it's an integrated router through a modem function. So it's it's two devices in one. It's a combo device. So what you do, access your router using any browser. In my case, I'm using Firefox 192.168.1.1. If you can't pull up any page, if you can't even get to the username and password on this part using the 192.168.1.1 values, that means that you are using a different value so you might want to check that how you could check that we have a separate tutorial for that you can just look that up from the list of videos that we have so from here if you successfully get to this page type in admin and just key in uh, sorry let me go back just type in whoop sorry I missed I guess I missed out okay there you go it should log you in and you are trying to set up a Wi-Fi network. So what you do, you go to interface setup right here. You got internet, LAN, wireless. Click on wireless here. And access point, it would say activated. It should always be activated. Why? Because um, if you do deactivate that, that means that you're just trying to convert or use your device as a LAN modem, a wired router, I mean. Again, if you just would want to use that as a wired router, you don't want your device to broadcast a wireless Wi-Fi signal, you can select deactivate from here. But if you want to use that in sending Wi-Fi signals, then you just have to leave that to activate. Or if it's not checked, just have to check that. Channel should be auto. Sometimes you can use 6 and 8. That'd be alright. Beacon interval, just leave that 100. Threshold, that's going to be alright. You don't have to change that. You can change that if you're having troubles in connecting or you're getting intermittency with the connection. Just scroll down a little bit, look up for something that says um, broadcast SSID. Here, what you have to do really is actually to broadcast the SSID. You can click on yes to that right the reason why you want to broadcast an SSID maybe you would want everybody to connect you would want to create a network that devices Android phones iPhones computers tablets can see on a network but if you really would want to protect or hide your network so nobody can see that only you you can just set that to no all right. Again, for visibility of the ID, you set that to yes. If you want to hide it, you set that to no. Um, SSID. Well, this is my favorite. Lucky me, Bansit Canton. So don't mind that. You can type anything here. Um, say my home network. You can say Wi-Fi. Or public Wi-Fi, you can say that. Or if you have a store, maybe if you have a shop, a cafe, that you want to send out wireless signals to your customers, you can say Cafe One, or you can say um, anything, basically anything. You could use as an SSID. And authentication type, I'm using the 64-bit uh, encryption right here. 64-bit is not that complicated. Uh, and uh, very very much easy to set up. What you have to do is just actually have uh, characters right here for the password. This is your key or passcode. Um, zero to nine, A, B, to F. I mean, sorry, uh, alpha, uh, alpha numeric. So you got zero to nine and A to Z for this. Okay. But if you make use of a PSK, again, I'm not going to make changes because this router, once you click, it, make, it, it takes the action. So if you want to use a higher encryption, you can use WPA PSK, and that's going to be um, giving you a little bit of a different combination. 
you can just read up here for some other info in adding in a key here. If you have key one, you got key two, key three, and key four. You can make use of those keys. Like, um, why have key one? Let's say you know the first key, but you don't want to give this out because this is your uh, private password. You try to make another key and give that out to somebody else. And if you'd want to disconnect that person, you can just remove that key from here, but still have the older key connected to the PCs that you have, or maybe devices that you have. And here, just scroll down right to something that says save. Click on save, and it's going to do its thing. And you have your wireless network already. After you save that, if you have devices open, you can just try to uh, try to search up for a Wi-Fi network using your mobile phone or using your computer, and it's going to see that in there. So what we created is Pancit Canton for the name of the SSID. If you search that through your uh, Wi-Fi app on any device that you have, you should have to see an SSID that says Pancit Canton. If you don't, it should look like this. Uh, if you're using a Windows 7 computer, what you might want to do is go to, no, sorry, just go to this part right here. Double click here. Sorry, just one click, by the way. If you got this Wi Fi icon, just click on that, it would say connected. Click on that if you're using Windows 8, Windows 7, it's going to work to in there and just click on that. And it should see your network. If it, uh, if you did hide your network, just click on hidden network right there. Then it would ask you to connect. Uh, let's say connect right here. Then you have to type in your SSID. Let me type it there. Go next. It's going to ask you for a passcode or a passkey. And uh, that's the key that we used earlier see that visible yes it is call next if you're on the private network I mean private maybe home you just have to turn on sharing and everything and it should say connected right there there you go so try to check yes it is right here at the bottom see if you can pull up any page let's try um, our website there you go it's loading and it's actually working. So that's how you basically set up a Wi-Fi network on a ZTE ZXV10 W300 series modem router. Again, my name's Ty. You can check out our website www.nudaboss.com and subscribe to our channel youtube.com/nudaworks. Thanks for watching, and I'm gonna see you back.